Your Coca-Cola bottler presents Claudia, based on the famous play and novels by Rose Franken. Brought to you transcribed Monday through Friday by your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola. Relax, and while you're listening, refresh yourself. Have a Coke. And now, Claudia. Are you all right, Mrs. Norton? I'm all right, Fritz. Please, can't you drive faster? The roads are slippery. It's dangerous. I know, Fritz, but just this once. Fritz, please. This truck does not drive easy. Do you know where Dr. Barry's office is? Yes, on Main Street near the hardware store. The last time I was there, David and I were taking the baby for his checkup. Now David's there. We will be arriving in a moment. When he kissed me goodbye, I had a feeling. I told him to drive carefully. I told him to. It was a feeling. They said the other man was drunk. It's only half past eight in the morning. David was to have caught the 814 to New York. Do not think so much. I, I, I don't want to think, Fritz, but I can't help myself. I never saw such a horrible... How could anyone go through that and not... And we must pray. Fritz, keep me from thinking. If only David were here, he'd keep me from thinking. Yeah, he would know what to say. A little while ago, I kissed David goodbye like any other morning. and It wasn't like any other morning. Well, we are almost at the doctor's house. So cold, Fritz. I feel so alone. Yes, we are always alone. And it keeps on raining. It will stop. The difference? There, there. Fritz, please drive faster. We're practically there. We turn here, and we are at the doctor's. Fritz, you'll... You'll come in with me. Yes, I do not leave you. I, I stay by your side, like Mr. Norton says. Thanks, Now, keep my coat on, or you'll get wet. So many people. Always there, those nosy ones who must watch others. I wish I could stop thinking, stop thinking. David, help me. In just a moment. Knowing couldn't be worse, no matter what it is. Just so I don't scream, so I don't scream. Oh, you poor child. Oh, it's terrible. Yes. I just couldn't believe it when they brought them in. Oh, do come in, do come in. There's nobody else in the waiting room. Thank you. Yeah, we come in. I'm a doctor's wife, but I never get used to this sort of thing. It's just too awful. Oh, you're so young. Is Dr. Barry? Uh, He's inside. Uh, Let me get you something. Thank you. I'm all right. Oh, sit down, my child. I'd rather stand. So many people outside, they stare at the house. How long do we have to wait? If only we could... Just a moment. Doctor will come right out. I I don't know anything myself. I was upstairs. Nobody knows anything. Everything happens and nobody knows anything. Oh, oh dear, the the, the telephone. I'll answer it. The nurse will be too busy. Fritz? Yeah? It's still raining. Why not sit down, Mrs. Norton? We can only wait. It's terrible to love someone so much. It's more terrible not to love. It's safer. Oh, my dear child, do you think you could talk on the telephone, or would you rather I said you didn't want to? Who is it? Uh, it's your mother. I, I could tell her there's... Uh, uh, we don't know anything no, yet. No, I- I'll talk to Mama. Oh, you're so courageous. You're so brave. <laughs> if you only knew... Hello, Mama? No, no news yet. Dr. Barry's in the other room with... He's with Dick. I haven't seen him yet, Mama. Fritz and I are just waiting. I'm all right, I hope. Mama, how'd you know? Bertha wasn't supposed to tell you. No, no, Mama. There's no use your coming down here. You take care of Bobby for me. I'll call you just as soon as... Goodbye, Mama. That was Mama, Fritz. Bertha was not to tell her. Mama read it in her eyes. She loves David, too, and I guess I'm still her baby. 
Only I mustn't be a baby anymore. You are very strong. If you love very deeply, you have to be strong. Mama said I, I was strong and I should lean on myself. What Mama doesn't know is that David is my strength. Then lean on him. He would want you to. I'm leaning. You would like me to go to the house and bring your mother? No, she'll wait there. Fritz, why does it take so long? I'll answer. Oh, my poor child, I, I do wish you could sit down. Your shoes must be wet. I'll answer the doorbell, and then maybe you'll let me bring you some slippers from upstairs. Where is he? Where is he? Take me to him. Come right in. Come right in. This is the waiting room. Wait right here. Now, Jesse, Jesse, hold on to yourself. There ain't no use in such carryings on. I want to see him. Why don't they let me see him? She's the other one. She should scream inside herself like you. There I was. And the telephone rings and they tell me, Jesse, it's your joy. No, they won't let me see him. Now, now, Jesse, Jesse, listen, listen. You'll see him, but, you know, shh. You ain't here alone, you know. Take it easy. Oh, that's right, I... I ain't. You, you got a handkerchief, Harry? I, I look a mess. No, no. Right. Here you are, Jesse. Hey. Now, take it Fritz. easy. Take it easy. Fitz, how much longer? In another moment, we'll know. I mustn't scream. I mustn't. Is it your husband, ma'am? Yes. The two of us in the same boat. It's terrible, ain't it? Any kids? One. Thank God. Oh, not me. I ain't got none. You poor woman. You just bought the place up on River Road, didn't you? Yes, about six months ago. My husband and I bought it. Oh, David. I guess it's another one of those things. You buy a place and you have to let it go. We just bought a place, too. I'll sell, I will. No, I'll keep the farm. I'll keep it for Bobby. It'll be all for him. David knew. Oh, God, let me live through this hour. I wouldn't keep my place. No, I wouldn't. I'd sell it. That's what I'd do. Sell it and take the money and start all over again. If you run away... Why not? David wouldn't want me to run away. And he knew I wouldn't. He knew it before I did. I guess that's the way with a person who loves you. Well, I ain't sentimental. Life don't let you be. All of a sudden, it smacks you in the face, and then you... A doctor! Doctor! The doctor, is he dead? Fritz. Doctor, is he dead? Don't leave me. Doctor! Take Jesse home. Take her home. Now. So that's it. So that's the way it is, Doc. Yes, Harry. That's the way it is. And he is dead. Oh, no. Go ahead and say it. He is. That's a fine thing that happened to me. Go on home, Jesse. No use your carrying on so. Here. Come on, Jesse. <laughs> well, I'll take it. Now, no, no. take it easy. <laughs> Just easy. like that. Full ring. Just like that. <laughs> She'll be all right when she has no audience. You can tell me, Dr. Barry, I, I'm not afraid anymore. Well, there isn't anything to be afraid of, Mrs. I know. Norton. I know. I've, I've been through it all. There's nothing left to be afraid of. Your husband's going to be all right. Well, not today or tomorrow, but he'll be all right. Oh, God. I'm afraid, too. He's just coming out of it. Had a slight concussion and a broken collarbone. He'll be laid up a little while, but he'll pull through. Doesn't seem possible. I'd... I'd said goodbye. I... I'm dizzy. I... Here. Here. Sit down. Fritz, did you hear? Yeah, I heard. Doctor, you, you've told her? Yes, Harriet. Mrs. Norton's all right. Just a little faint. Now I'm going back inside to him. Claudia... You can see him in a moment. I'll come in a minute, Dr. Barry. As soon as I find my legs. Oh, you were perfectly wonderful. I declare I never saw anyone take anything so wonderfully. 
I'm sure if it had been the doctor laying there, I just couldn't have done it. You would have stood it, Mrs. Barry. I know you would have. Even Jessie. She'll stand it. Ha! Mrs. Mason. I wouldn't waste too much sympathy on the likes of her. But her husband's dead. She'll never see him anymore. And small loss for either of them. It's public property in town the way they carried on. Then coming here with that man, screaming as if she meant it. Oh, well. I- I'll get you a glass of water. Just a minute. Poor Mrs. Barry. She's never given up what she loved most. So she doesn't understand. Poor Jessie, she had to scream. She'd missed so much. Poor thing. You go in? Yes, then I'll call Mama. Fritz, you... It was all in yourself. I just stood outside you. I call Bertha now. God has been kind to us. Baby. Hello, darling. Just rest, darling. (laughs) What are you laughing at? Me, such a careful willy at the wheel. You are, darling. You know what? Know what? I broke my pipe. I'll buy you another, you silly goop. You almost broke your neck. Would you call the office? I'll, I'll be late. I'll call. That insurance premium last night, I may have to check. Be sure you send it in. I'll take care of everything, David. Don't worry. Lucky thing I did it last night instead of listening to you. Mm. But it doesn't matter. You're all right. This is a heck of a thing for a man to put his wife through. Don't be sorry, David. I'm not a baby anymore. After today, you're married to a woman, and I can't ever lose you again. Funny face. Funny face yourself. Now you go to sleep, my darling. Do you ever think of serving ice-cold Coca-Cola when you have guests for lunch? Try it and see how much people enjoy Coke with their noonday meal. Have Coke with your own lunch, why don't you, whether there's company or not. Any food tastes better when it's accompanied by delicious ice-cold Coca-Cola. You can easily afford to lunch refreshed, since Coke costs only a nickel a bottle. Mr. King, have you heard the good news? You mean that David's going to be all right? Well, it would have been a terrible thing to have to have told Mrs. Norton otherwise. Yes, it... It would have. The doctor has many difficult tasks to perform. That would have been one of them. But, well, now I don't have to do it. Is it going to be a long, drawn-out business to get David well? A while. He's lucky he's alive. But he'll be laid up a while. I'm taking him to the hospital. That'll be hard on him. Yes, it'll be hard on Claudia, too. Well, a taste of loneliness, I. I wonder how she'll manage. Well, Dr. Barry, thanks for the good news, and give my regards to David. I'll do that. See you, my boy. Yes, sir. As I was about to say, every day, Monday through Friday, Claudia comes to you transcribed with the best wishes of your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola. So listen again tomorrow at the same time. And now this is Joe King saying au revoir. And remember, whoever you are, whatever you do, wherever you may be, when you think of refreshment, think of Coca-Cola. For Coca-Cola makes any pause the pause that refreshes. And ice-cold Coca-Cola is everywhere. This broadcast of Claudia was supervised and directed by William Brown Maloney. And now, here's a word from your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola. <laughs>